everyone knows I go to Clemson. They're like, oh, like, what's going on with the Tucker Hips thing? What do you know? What have you been told? What have you heard? Have you heard this? Have you heard this? I've heard this. Is this true or not? We need to get answers as to what happened, and I think there needs to be a bit more of a willingness to discuss issues like this among our campus community. We have conversations about race. We should have conversations about um, about things like this just to make sure that no one else dies. It was really kind of inexplicable as to why the issue was just dropped. I mean, he was he, he died in September, and we're in April almost, right. and we haven't really heard anything about it. We haven't heard about how the investigation progressed or anything. It was pretty much just dropped without any sort of answers for, for us as a community or for his family. And so, you know, you look around and you see all the people coming in for tours, when they come into college, this is something that they should know about instead of going in blindly. 18-year-olds don't make good decisions. Whether it's related to Greek life or not, any organization having a policy against hazing does nothing because we all know hazing is bad. It's like having a policy against sexual assault. You know, if you're going to assault someone, you're not going to not do it because a policy says you can't. So there, there should be more, I think there should be more transparency. Someone lost his life over this and there haven't been any answers for his family or his friends or his girlfriend or us as a community. You know, one, the thing that struck me most when I was at his vigil was that looking around, we're all Tucker. We're all 19 years old, going to class, going to a football game. We're all Tucker. And, and just to see, to see yourself and to see him in the faces of everybody on that field, it really hit home that that could have been one of us, any one of us.